someone in prisoner 327 escaping that is definitely top of the night we have to be careful about that prisoner particular prisoner is escaping I do not remember that part of Unreal Tournament but a lot of my sound bites come from Unreal Tournament it's a classic game fantastic game all right no bullshit tonight no room for anything but fact tons of indie games mm. Gang Beasts. We're not playing Gang Beasts tonight. But we could if we wanted. That featured on a previous indie special. Um, I really enjoy. The Gang Beasts team look like an indie dev team should. You know? They're, they're, they've got like, you know, jewelry in the face. They got a jewelry in the face. Uh, an aggressive, yet friendly looking appearance. And, um, you know, crowds of people surrounding playing Gang Beasts, which actually has VR support, or had. I don't know if it's still working. <clears throat> it's one of those things where, like, if a game had support back in 2017, you can't assume that it's still working, you know? How you doing, Martin? How we doing? How we doing, Robin? How's everyone tonight? It's Friday. Which means... <laughs> you know what it means. Vodka Friday. Drink responsibly. All right. <clears throat> oh, that burns. <laughs> and that's just water. All right, so here we go. So um, what we're going to do is uh, lots of indies. I got feck tons, and for some reason, this guy's fecking with me again. I don't know what, what YouTube did. They broke their chat or something. Something's wrong. Uh, let's see if this one's working. Is this one working? Hopefully it's not that. Not that. This one. That uh, looks okay. All right, we're just gonna test this by going like, no, oh, yeah, it's working. Okay, good, good. Everything's fine. <coughs> Bots are in blue, humans are in something, other, Zims are in yellow. All that, it's good. All right, I have a feeling. I have a feeling that that just might be broken. All right, let me fall back to our backup. Good old Firefox never fails us there. Um, I am going to get Karen to trace that. I know it's spent ages doing this, 
And uh, still no fix, but um, all right, try it again there, Rizzo. We're gonna see if this works. <coughs> As you can tell, I'm totally in perfect health. Nothing could possibly prove wrong. I'm all good. I'm all good. Martin Risby VR says, hello, dude. See, that works. That works. That's good. All right. Hello, hello, hello. All right, so that'll work. Um, maybe I'll, no, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Leave it. Leave it. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. All right. So what are we doing tonight? Tonight, we are showcasing a number of VR indie games. Now, this does look like the chat is broken. So guess what? Good for you. You get a full screen of wonderful... Uh, I'm going to tickle them in the nuts. Tickle you in the nuts. Um, um, we are going to continue with a whole bunch of VR indie titles. Okay, so what do we have on offer tonight? A whole bunch of different things. I have, uh, in, in a various number of formats, these games uh, installed. And I've got some other stuff randomly. There's one on, it's like Root Bear. There's Chicks and Tricks, Wactory, Spectro, Attack of the Retrobots, Panther VR, Banana something or other, Arena Blood on the Sand. There's like a whole bunch of random stuff. I've got Audio Trip in there as well. Although I think I can't do that one because it's all like copyrighted music. So I've got a whole bunch of things that are queued up. Uh, I got a ton more. I got like 30 in Steam that I haven't done in a while. So I'm just going to pick through that stuff and we're just going to fire at random, to be honest. Look, it's kind of like, what, a couple of days before Halloween? So I guess, you know, should really, uh, <coughs> should really just, you know, um, you know, focus my efforts. But I think we're going to just continue to do something else. Right. So, uh, indie stuff. Let's just, uh, let's just do that. I'm going to start off with a game that some of the lads liked called Spectro. So we'll start on, we'll start on brand. Attack of the Retro Bots is okay, but it has weird monitor aspect ratio issues. I love weird monitor aspect ratio issues, man. This is my favorite. <laughs> How'd you know? How'd you know? Little bee boop bop. Um, anyway, we're going to try Spectro first. Why not? I got tons of stuff though. Random things. Bandit point. Critical Gravity, whatever that is. Uh, we were playing... Well, I won't mention it. It's a it's a sordid, non-VR game, the other one. So, it's all good. I, I, I love uh, I love anything, really. I really will play pretty much anything. All right. I'm going to make sure that everything's... Uh, <sighs> nice and how, how were your Fridays, folks? I mean, mine, mine wasn't great, but... It was okay. Any day I can kind of get up and uh, change the, the world is a good day, right? <laughs> right, that didn't launch. Okay. Did it launch? Did you hear anything? You're hearing the game and I'm not. That for feck's sake, where'd that come from? Oi. Where's that coming from? Fucking Spectro. All right, maybe that's, uh, I don't know. Oh, I need Steam VR running. Yeah, yeah, of course. This is, uh, this is what happens when you don't play enough with your revive, right? I really don't. It took me like an hour and a half to get my Vive working the other day. The PC it's on is a bit slow and it's like, oh, come on, just go. And it's like, now nah, I need to update. Actually, it wasn't even an update. I don't know what it was. It was something else. It was overstretched in the menu, then square with bars either side in the levels. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, it's going to hurt all of us, isn't it? Um, but that's okay. Not everything has to be perfect. Not everything has to be perfect. All right, let's see here. Where are my lovely friends? Uh, let's go. I'm literally just going to fire through. Maybe 15 minutes each game, 20 minutes. If I, I'm going to get stuck. I always get stuck. But that's all right. Disassembly got sandbox mode and early access. So much VR to try. There, There is, like, a lot to do. Always. Too much. I tend to like it though. That's my problem. All right, let's go. You gonna work for me? See if it'll do anything now. All right, I think it hooked. All right, I see something there. Right. So now we can give you the game. The game that you've been waiting. Spectrum. All right. That seems proper loud. There's 
always, there's always a tomorrow. Please let me reduce the volume. Alright, has that done it? Is that a little bit more manageable? Still might be a bit loud. Uh, let's do a little bit, a little bit more. Just a touch for my friends. My friends. My friends. All right, Spectro. All right, well, you let's keep me company. And uh, this does a nice look to it. This is what, ghost hunting? What is this? What is this? Seems okay. Sorry, chat's not working, but um, I can see your chat. No. Give us a DJ testing. <laughs> what DJ testing? One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. You put those two together and what do you get? Intestinal tract. Right. Now, look okay, anyway. Nice little menu. Move and moving, smooth, loud strafing, sure. Head steering, move it along. Don't like head steering, but fine. Rotation type, smooth please. Wait, smooth, yes. Uh, graphics, hi, yes, that's all looks good. Bloom, yeah. Audio, go with what you have to say. Seems totally fine. Show damage numbers, no. Affect that, fine. All right, play game. Play a new game. This is Spectrum. This game? This Spectro. Are you using the right mic? Are you using the right mic? I am. It's that mic. Is it not good? Let me check. You think it's a shit mic, is it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, this one. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just gonna do that, it's just easier. I know if I turn around or whatever, it's not as good to pick up, but it's fine. <coughs> hey there. Been a while. Thank you. He's my friend. I'm actually gonna just, it's easier on my neck. This is sad. I gotta kneel down. It says I'm used to you switching to the one in the headset. No, it's not in the headset actually. It's, um, I usually use the lab mic. Bet you need a reminder. Of why you're here, don't you? Yeah, sure. Am I dead? Very nice. I thought so. That's okay. It's a bit of a lame intro, though. It's just like, I don't like being forced to read text to understand what I'm gonna do. Like, make me do something, show me something. That's okay. I forget things too sometimes. So they're dissing my memory straight off the bat. They can't. I can make a game properly! Alright. You have to save Weirdwood. Um, the Mask of Okin. Is this for Isis? <laughs> Woo! We got hands. Alright. Audio okay or is it terrible? I feel like I'm conflicting with the music just a little bit. The Mask of Okim is hidden at the top of the Haunted Tower. Maybe if you get to it first, you can help save the town. Well, I don't want to blabber on too much. I bet you're itching to get out of there and start helping reinvigorating the Wordywood. Whenever you're ready, you head through to that green door. Oh, that one. And enter the tower. I recommend going through the tutorial. If you don't, you're fine. Okay, that's fine. Goodbye. He's a creepy ass ghost. Honestly, I am not comfortable being in the same room with this guy. Drop game volume one notch, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I thought it sounded. After a while, you get this like flavor. You're like. How's that? I bet you that's better. Is that better? 
Music is louder than you? Oh shit. Okay, hold on. That might not even be good enough. Maybe we go even more. Uh, I, I really don't like it when the game is like super crazy. All right, I'm gonna try it like that. You know what I hate? I still hate this little feckin' light. I wish that it's like you just take it away, make it black. Like, you know what I mean? Doesn't it make you like stupid? It's like the freaking it's like this tiny eye in the middle of your face. Anyway, uh, all right, tutorial start. Oh, I do the tutorial. I made a tutorial. Give it to me. How do I interact with you? Point. Click. Hey. Right. Of course. Of course it's not like take it out and read it. Or eat it or whatever. Uh, you know you need to say something when dropping the game volume so we can compare your voice to the game. Oh. Oh no. Is it really that bad? Was it like super loud? I'm uh, sorry. Didn't realize. Welcome to the tutorial. Press A to continue. I can't hear anything now. What the hell is that? First you need to learn to move around. Oh god. I should never have come to the tutorial. Left or right? Okay. Use your analog stick. Really? Never played a game in your life, huh? Move forward using your left analog stick. Yay. Give it a try. Ooh. Ooh. I did it! I walked! Okay, I need to abandon this. This is... No. Use your blaster. Let me guess, I pulled the trigger. Right now, you're out of energy. But you can fill the meter by using candles. Look around the room for a candle. The candle is a stick of wax with a wick in it. The wick is a... is a lickety stick. And you light it with a match. Tap this candle by aiming and pressing A. Bam, 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 bam. Good job. You just reinvigorated your thruster guster. I have no idea what's going on. So far, <coughs> it looks pretty. But <coughs> <coughs> oh my god, if they go this speed the whole freaking game, I'm going to probably jump off of a pier. Let's now try to fire the blaster. Hold down the trigger button to fire it. Now that you got the fire, make sure that you've got energy. If you don't, you need to tap another candle. i tap that. All right. You got it. Yay. So if I see a ghost, I blast him with the zappy candle blaster. You can turn on your flashlight using the left trigger. That's the trigger on the left. Let's try to brighten this place up a bit with that. Can't, oh yeah, that is cool. That's nice. You have to look out for totems. What are totems? Totems look like this. It's like a fucking head in a box. It's the head in a box, people. Head in a box, don't worry. Uh, every level has a totem. Find the totem to advance to the next level. They can be anywhere. Start by heading through one of the doors. Open the door by aiming and pressing the A button. Right. So you use this, you're like looking around, you're like, hey, what am I gonna find? So first off, I need to zap the candle. Okay. Now find the door. See, this is pretty cool. This is a great, like the flashlight is freaking fantastic. Open the door. Stop walking around. No. Is that, a, is that an apple? Try opening the door. Why don't you try the door? Hey, Zim. It's door time. Why not try the door? This door is sealed. Try another one. That must mean this door. Or maybe this door. This looks like a ghost. Oh, no. He ate my Subway sandwich. We're going to have to eat him and kill his mother. Yep. That's what we need to do. That's what we need to do. It's okay. It's fine. See it? There's the ghost. Ah, what a friendly ghost. Trap it using your blaster. Remember, just aim and pull the trigger. I hope you're all remembering these instructions. You're gonna need them. Once you spot it and you're ready, 
Press A to continue. Where is it? Come here. Bad ghost. Give me the feckin'. Nice. You just caught a Pokemon. This is Ghastly. Ghastly the Pokemon. You just need to eat it. Get out your knife and fork. By aiming your blaster, hold down the grab button. Now I'll turn on the suction mode. That's good at... Wow. I bet you if this was the real thing, like dudes at night, you know, you ate Ross's sandwich too? Was that from Friends? What was that from? You see this when I turn my head and it does that jiggery thing? I feckin' hate that. I wish I could get that to stop happening. But, um... See? Like right there? Cutting it off. Anyway. One of these days. Go for it. Sucked him up. You really nobbled. Nabbled. Nabbled? Is nabbled a word? Alright, so now we need to... <coughs> Do I need batteries for this thing, or is it just... Looks like the totem is in this room. Do you see it? Point your laser at it, and press A to activate the totem challenge. That one? Okay. I don't have a laser. What's happening? Look for the totem. I see the totem. It's right there. Where are my hands? Did my feckin' hands go? Look for the totem. It's right there. Right? Am I an idiot? Look for the totem. What do you mean? That's it! That's the... What the fuck is happening? This is clearly screwed up, yeah? I mean, I see the totem. I see the to Is there a way to make the headset more matte? I could fl put flour all over it. That would do it. <laughs> or, you know, there's another option of uh, making it look very pretty. Now, this is a bad idea. I'll do it anyway. Right. So, like, we go, like... <laughs> Either tracking bits put on the headset. That's fine. That'll stop it. <laughs> Just a little bit. Maybe break it up. If this actually works, it'd be funny. And, uh, it would have to be on the sides, though, right? Yeah. Anyway. <coughs> Cut yourself VR shaving. Exactly. That's it. That's the spirit. I am going to throw myself out of the room. Thank you, Spiro, or whatever your name is. Feckin' seriously now. Like, can you not do this to me right now, please? Hello? Hello? Look for the totem! Oh! 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 <laughs> Quit app. Goodbye, Spectro. Alright. I'm going to try it one more time. I'm telling you. If it does that to me again, it's going, it's going down. Going down. Okay. Come on. I'm just not going to do the tutorial. And we'll just figure it out. It's probably going to be frustrating as hell. By the way, I'm not going to leave the uh, duct tape on my headset because I've learned. My carpet has duct tape like stains on it. Is I put duct tape there and left it for like three months and then I went to take it off and I'm like, oh shit. Got to get a new carpet now. That happens. Play game. Continue. Please don't load me in the same spot. Hey, how's it going, Superman? Please stop. Oh. Yay. Can I? Oh, for feck's sake. When you see some. Make sure you suck the suckers. Mother. What the? Store? What can you buy? A small health elixir. How many? Eboo? Like eBay. 
for all your ghostly gear. Okay, I thought this was actually in game. Like, no. Okay, I'm glad not. What is this? Does it do anything? Can't even move my hand. Martin Risby VR says, Oh god, let's hope it's not the tutorial again. If it was the tutorial again, I would literally. Yeah, you know what I'd do. What is this? There's a small bed up there. I would love to sleep in a place like that, honestly. Like, I would I would totally honestly find that super cool. Like, the, I don't know. Just like in your house or whatever. Just free stuff up, get up top. This would be the most useless room for me, I don't read books. These are pumpkins. Congratulations. And look, it's nighttime. How do you tell? A giant black texture with nothing outside. Would you like to do the tutorial first? F no. No. No, I wouldn't. Thank you. No tutorial, please. Cheers. They're dead, uh, dead Teletubbies? They could be dead Teletubbies. I don't know. Didn't make, maybe they're like the cast who didn't make it or something. What am I doing now? Right. Lore one. Floor one. I saw something sparkling. Is it sparkly banana? Out of energy. Just to open this stuff. What is that? Did I get that coin? <coughs> All right. So now we're supposed to search this space, I guess. Somehow. I think he's an angry... He's an angry ghost! Alright. He doesn't seem to like me. So you suck the ghost in, and then what happens? I've got some coins. It's funny because I, I like put the light out and then that's it. And then that's all we have. That's it. Huh. Okay. Well, it seems okay so far. Uh, this game is Spectro for anyone who just joined us. If you just joined us, what are you doing? Why would you do this? It's a pretty cool game though. Very solid. Feels, uh, feels neat. Come on. Woo, we got a health potion. Obviously. Another health potion. That's gonna be coin, thank you. Alright. So anything that glitters is gold, basically. game like super quiet now? I feel like it's super quiet now. Whereas before like the menu was super loud. Let me adjust that because I don't think you can hear it very well. Because I can't hear it very well. Is that a Pentax or Nikon down there? It's possible. Looks like it. Old school, huh? Uh, back when it was good. Yeah, pretty quiet. That seems more reasonable. Even that seems better. Rob Kester says, yeah. yeah, pretty quiet. Cool. Don't hesitate to tell me if, just if you're feeling ever, you're like, yeah, it's, it's a little bit quiet. Just say it. I don't mind. Half the time it probably means I didn't mean it to be. The thing is, I like a game with like a kind of simplistic look to it, but a good design. Give me that. Suction them coins out. It's got a really cool design though. Oh 
camera equipment. <coughs> oh, now what is that? All right. How do we? have the key what was that it's like the stellar heart okay. yeah you can go away now oh it, it gave me an additional heart okay so that was like a permanent heart health upgrade cool all right I'm slowly getting the hang of it it's a mix, a mix of both. It does look like Luigi's Mansion, yeah. Sucking ghosts up, yeah. See, it's pretty cool, Kara. Pretty cool. finding illicit drugs. So you suck up the candle juice and this is how you using that. The flashlight is really nice though. It's like it feels good. I was like what is that? It's my laser. My laser. I love the sucking coins up there. Whee! What that means. How much time we? I think that means we can oh, find object one of four. Oh, shit. Too far from the totem challenge. Oh! Oh! Find object 104. Bottle. Find the hidden door! Go to star. Find the hidden door. Find the hidden... What does the hidden door look like? I'm gonna need help here. Here in the USA, we call it wax. Wax? Call what wax? Stuff in your ears? We call it wax too. Yep. Hidden door, huh? Now I should have taken the tutorial for this one. Like find the hidden door, okay. I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm looking for, like found the extra key. Door. Where would they have a hidden door? I feel like it would be here somewhere. I'm not really sure what to do here now. Huh. Gotta be a book or a bust of a head or music player. Oh, I mentioned sucking up candle juice, right. It's candle juice. Martin Risby VR says, 
got to be a vocal bust of a head or music player to find door. Bust of a head. Bust of a head. Was I bust? Music player. So it's a special thing, huh? Music player. Like an MP3 music player? Back. Got to be a book or a what now? Huh. The typical hidden door stuff. What about a plant? Hidden door. What about this one? What about minty fresh toothpaste? What about a... Do I have to? Here's all my inventory stuff. Oh, does that let me like get out of the level? I think so. What does this do? Plus one speed. Is it that you've played this Martin and you know? Or are you just like, no, I don't know. Well, why be? Why be? The door is sealed by ghostly energy. What if I was to use this? Seriously, that looks like this is the door. What about over here? Is it fridge? Should have done the tutorial, Zim. Should have done the fucking tutorial. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. I am enjoying myself. A kind of painful enjoyment. We've got something in both hands. And I just want to open the fucking door. I'm stuck on the first level. This is good. Shoes. Jack o' lantern. Find the hidden door. How? God damn. If it does zap stuff? I really have no idea. What's the game name? Spectro? Not getting out of the first level sucks. So we couldn't finish the tutorial, if you remember. Is this it? This is the hidden... That looks like a very... Skinny people would be alright in there, but... Everybody else would be screwed, you know? It's a very, very small space. I don't know. I have no idea. Select the blaster to apply the upgrade. <coughs> so that was a weapons upgrade. That's what that was. Huh. Well, I think we're gonna have to not just stay here. Taste maybe the next game. It's a pity because I like the design of this. Maybe we go back. Quick game. Reset camera. Other. Give me hints. Oh no.
running well. Damn it. I have no idea what to do. I mean, I got the, the block, right? Oh, look. Is that it? Oh, there we go. That's the hidden door. Ah, oh, figured it out. Figured it out, finally! It's saying the totem's show you the door. You just have to press A. Hang on, no, 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 I got it. I got it. Fact's sake. I like figuring stuff out for myself, but fact's sake. Fact's sake. Anyway. We won. We can be happy now. <laughs> that did it. Way! Floor 2. Find the level totem for floor 2. Right. So far, my favorite thing is without a doubt. Sucking coins out of stuff. All right. It's like. It's kind of dark in here. Clearly, this is going to require a key. The green key. That's it, bastard. Sucking you up! It's basically like, feck you. No, you didn't. Any sparkly fruit? Nope. And coins! Actually, so far, I really enjoy this. It's like my game of the week right now. It's silly. Um, but it is. Give me your funny. It's nicely designed, it's just like... Shit! Out of energy! Run, with Give me your candle energy. Phantom Spinner. I think that's another... Is that another? There's a Phantom Spinner. That's weird. or something. Weird. <laughs> Gotta enjoy. It's so weird, like the music and stuff for the game is like quite low. It's really weird. Just gonna keep going at this. I'm not bored yet. Enjoying myself. You're not coins! That cute ghost face. So far we've sucked up nine ghosts. I think I have to just keep going until you die. Is this like a roguelite? It's hard to tell. Can't tell. Penguins. Now what? Toaster. Really funky music going on in the background. It's like. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, on, you bastards. Where are you? I 
think I think that's it. Like, and now I'm finding the totem. I mean, the totems fucking glow. It's not as if they hide. There's an apple. Is it supposed to be up here? Oh, there was another room. Like this is just grab ghosts. You don't get to do much, you know. And what's up with the freaking upgrades? I don't understand. All reliable. So there's that one. Right. That's the new one. So you use one, two, two. He's rank two. Extra zero. So clearly, this guy is the one we want. For now, anyway. I need to find a candle. Candle, candle, candle. You suck him up. I like that the candles don't actually go out, they just recharge you and then you keep going. Well, it's something, anyway. This is the first of a run of different things. I didn't want to just stick on this one, but... It seems promising, actually. There's gonna be a trickster here. There's one. Thought for sure this was gonna be... On the floor. Mug. Okay. Find the hidden door. Totem room. There. Hey, hey, hey! We are slowly making it! Bit by bit. With this music that wants to put you to sleep. <coughs> you know, visuals on this game are really ace, but um, the sounds. By letting it down. Some of the stuff like that coin sound is really good. But a lot of this is just like not what I want. Suck up your buddy. Ghostbusters. It's ghost bastards. Alright. I got 
gotta say, having the better uh, equipment certainly helps. We found the totem. Job done. Your inventory is full. Not for coins, it's not. <coughs> what was it that I could buy for those coins? Do you remember? I think the soundtrack could be more ambient. Yeah. What was that sound? Oh, that was you. Menu! Faker. Alright. I think you could just be a little bit more ghoulish, like... It's weird. Inventory is full. Not balls. Uh, hey, plus one speed. All right. I like the way the coins pop out. Uh, okay. Okay. Both elixirs. Like the blaster. Definitely gonna do Old Faithful. It's funny though, it's it's very like fruit basket, fruit basket, fruit. Find us a hidden door. Alright. So now this is not too difficult. This is the part where you're like Hallway with a candle. And two ceiling lights. One ceiling light. One ceiling light. Two ceiling lights. Behind me. Oh! Next to me! Nice! Spectro! It's like for a Halloween thing, it's cool, but um, it's not that entertaining. Like, I think you guys are probably falling in your chair, like, oh, I found another ghost. It's getting a little bit harder. That bit in the beginning where they slide you in, that is not a good idea for people's stomachs. Nope. Right, we're just trying different things. Your health, please. Okay. My ghost face. Feck are ya. Give me all them coins. It really just makes you wanna... Oh. That guy's evil. Feckin' dude. I do feel like a Ghostbuster though. Gotta be honest. Pee Wee Cannon. That's cool. Where's the Pee Wee Cannon? I like it. Uh, how's my health? I'll leave the elixir. Looking around. What do you guys think of this? Like, what price this for me? I'm really curious. Like, what would you pay for something like this? Curious. Also, I kind of feel like that shutter, my headset, that we're gonna fix that now. Three ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah, I, I probably wouldn't do much more than that myself. Um. Right, I'm gonna try and see if we can do this. So 
If I come back here. Seems to fix it. Unless I screwed something else. Everything else seems okay. It's weird. Eleven. Was I screwing myself with that for a while? It's weird. Oh, is it back? It's jittering a little bit. See there it is problems. It's only when I'm under this light, I think. That's a little better. All right, cool. Five to 10 bucks. Yeah, dual wielding would be nice. Yeah, well I am. Yeah, the problem is it ends up reflecting and then looking like the green screen, so it does that. Um, not a lot I can do, to be honest. Anyway, I'll leave it. It just pisses me off, but it's fine. Open the door with the key. Right, I'm ready, bastards. actually open the doors Ow. you get some juice for that these guys are not had but they don't make much noise they just like That's what bothers me the most. It's like they made a noise. But he's not even like, ah, or anything. There's no noise at all. Your inventory. I can vote. Give me the special thing. Bear man. Oh shit. Holy cow. That one? Hey! Fuck you, man! Yeah, that's it! The bear man! Fucking hell. I think he, like, half killed me. He did. Shit. Alright. Okay, that, that filled me up anyway. It's cooler. This is a cooler spectral weapon, though. Pretty nifty, if you ask me. Clock. Where's the clock? Shit. What the fuck is clock? Clock? Is a book? Not that one. <laughs> Gotta run. Get up. Hello. Need a candle. Fucking ghosts. You're making trouble. Yeah. 
me your coins. Inventory is full, huh? <coughs> okay, we are slowly working our way. Combat is certainly more interesting when there are more of them. Yeah. Yeah, it started off too easy. Now it's getting there. It's like a micro ghost. Right, let's just get out of here. This apartment is like a lot bigger than the other ones. Alright. Find object. A book. Where's the book? Okay, where's the book? Off on the clock? With a red bird cup. Now a pumpkin. Now find the hidden door. One star! Good job! They don't mean good job. Alright, red light, candle in the corner, fruit basket. Red light, candle in the corner, fruit basket. Red light, candle in the corner, red light, candle in the corner, fruit basket. This one? What? Really? It's gotta be right there. Tricky bastards. Alrighty, 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 not bad. You can close doors behind you when running from ghosts to give you more time to regroup. Thank you. Thank you, Dio. How's it going? How's it going? This is actually a pretty good game. I wasn't expecting it to be as uh, solid as it is. I was like initially in the beginning. I'll tell you with that tutorial, I was pretty pissed off. I was like, I'm gonna. Find the ruby key. Find the emerald key. Find the seats in the room that are empty. Found that. We're gonna find everything that the man desires. Give me everything. Give me the fruit basket, the fruit cup, the fruit nuptials. Give them all to me. It's like a dark room, that one. Find the ruby key. Uh, okay. So I pointed it the wrong way. That's not my fault. That's the developer's fault for making it hard for people like me. Remember. Weird guns. Weird guns. Ah, birds. Hello. Yeah. Oh, it's open. It's closed. Oh, it's open. Oh, it's closed. It's open. Open. Last. Open. Suck you out. Yoink. Ruby key. Thank you, Ruby key. Definitely getting a little bit more exciting, isn't it? This is getting a little bit more exciting. I think they're going to start to get really nasty. I think they're going to be naughty toddy. Damn it. Find the topaz key. Fucking topaz. Of course. It's always the topaz. 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 Bring it, feckers. Your inventory is full. Stop sucking them ghosts so much. Right. We got the ruby key? I think. Here it comes, my lads. Wait. There we go. There we go. I fucking can't move without that one shit. <laughs> it doesn't work at all. Alright. 
Where is he? Where is he? There he is! Toothpaste. Emerald key. Coins. We are doing well. Drop me a message if you want to tell me anything. I'd like this to be VR versus crowd. Exactly! Yeah, exactly. See, after yesterday's game, it was like, you, you definitely just want that, right? Absolutely. Now, question. What's the kind of game view for you guys? It seems to be okay. Except for it seems a little bit. Sorry, I thought that was the thing. I just am wondering if it's like a distorted thing. Slightly distorted. Hmm. Might be. Better than the other one. Looks fine. Yeah, I think it looks okay. But could it look better? Let's find out. The game's running well. Let's break it. This is... With the Oculus Mirror. Does that look more natural? I feel like... Is that better than it was? Possibly? All right, I'm gonna try this. Now we're talking. Now we're talking, it looks like exactly the same thing. You know? Exactly, it's like the exact same thing. Anyway. Tell me if it's horrible. How you doing, Doc, man? Doc face. Doc, Doc Copter. It's a lot of you. Boom! You hit me in face! I will not let you. Get in my gun. Feckers. Face is good. The face is good. The other oh, dog face. I was like, what happened to your face? I had no idea. Your inventory is full. No. Alright, can we get rid of... Where was the shitey one? That one. That one was weird. Didn't like that one. Goodbye, Phantom Spinner. You were good to me. What are we getting? A small health of like. Is that literally what you had for me? Don't you fucking mess with me. Right. Can't look outside. Room to room. Give me all them coins. I love when they have the sparkly thing and then it's a ghost. It's like, you dirty bastards. You knew. You knew. And of course they hide keys in the most like random places. But be careful, eh? I still think they should make a VR game like this, but like, it'd be really cool to have like a survival game where you're like rooting around all the old nooks and crannies and stuff. That's what I would like. No! Fuck, that's just the green screen. It's fine. It's fine. Not a ghost. Not a ghost. <clears throat> Compose yourself, Zim. <laughs> you did not see that. You did not hear that. All you remember is a madly grunting sounds. Guttural grunting sounds. Right. There are some uh, VR versus crowd games that we might be playing tonight. Free ones as well. Here we go. The Emerald Key. See, the trick with this dude is not to run away necessarily. Woo! Little pumpkin! Little pumpkin that could. I like it. Oh. Anything else you want to get me in here? 
Nope, you gave me the topaz key. There's another present key. I do like presents. Might as well. Okay. Topaz it up. Go on. Make my fucking day. I got all the juice for you, son. All the juice for you! Come back here. That's it. That's it. Juicy McLucy. That's it. Look at that. Haha! -ha. Come on in. Oh shit, I'm out of juice. I need more juice. Fuck. That's not a juice. That's the opposite of juice. Shit! Now we got juice. Say hello to my little friend. Thought you were the other one. You're the little friend. There we are. Sucking you up. Putting you away. Sucking you up. Putting you away. It's a lot of reused assets, but you know, you can forgive it. Because it's pretty cool. And I wonder if they're static levels. Or if it's dynamic in any way. Holy shit, that's a lot of coin. Because I wonder if, if like, you're just triggering it a whole bunch of times and that's... What does it? Maybe. Maybe. <sighs> I've read that on one of the levels, the game they have added a really nasty jump scare, but it doesn't say where it is. Oh yeah? Sure. I'll believe that when I see it. Really nasty jump scare, just like hyenas jumping up and like pawing and licking your face. Ugh. Does anyone else have a godly, godly fear of hyenas? Like me? No? It's the animal I'm most scared of. Oh yeah. Okay. Now what? Cuckoo clock. Lemon bottle, orange juice. Sweet! Three stars! Who's better than three stars? Nobody. What do we got? You are not in the totem room. That looks like the hallway. Okay then. How about now? It's gonna go right there. Boop! Oh, baby! I love it. It just goes like, open sesame. I'm liking this so far. God, we're getting stuck on this one. I thought I'd be dead by now. Um, but it's a really manageable, like, upgrade path. It's not bad at all. I haven't tested it with the butt kicker, or the fucking back shaker. The leg baker. What the hell is right there? Fucking up. Age. Purple cuckoo. Slimey dude. Juice face. Juice face. Apple. Standalone apple. Two stars. Well, hey. Well, that worked out. That was quick as well. What was that all about? I don't know. Very strange. Inventory's full. Shit. Drink the small one. Okay. Scoopy doopy doo. Hello, my friends. I knew you were in there. You can help yourself. Come on, let's let's be friends. Let's be friends. You and me. Come here, you. Hey, that was a trick. That was a naughty trick. Bad ghost. Bad ghost. Don't make me spank you with the bottom basher. You already had to do that once this week. See you, Robin. Thank you for hanging. I know this has been a little bit mischievous. There's a key. Ruby key. I feel like the Joker. Am I? Oh my god. 
I am more twisted than... You know your bias when, uh, when you look at your cables. And you realize how freaking twisted. I am usually a good dude. I have twisted myself up something proper tonight. Holy cow. How many times did I spin around? Shit. Is this even helping? I don't even know. All I know is I'm dizzy now. Beckers. A mini trophy. What is that? Nope. <coughs> this could be bad. This is not the good stuff. There's ghosts. Almost nowhere. It's really weird. This is like a relaxing game to play on a Friday. It's just like, collect coins. Totally fine. But yeah, I don't know what the game costs, but um, thanks to the dev for a key. Hello. What the heck is that? He's got lasers. That guy's, okay, so they're getting definitely nastier. How do you know these? Find the Emerald Key. There it is. They are really getting sneakier. I like that those small ghosts, they're not too bad. are really nice though. Gotta hand them to that.
after a while, it's a bit like Doom with the health packs. Every time you see a health pack, you're like a bit nervous that something's gonna happen. And uh, that's just the way it is. Seems okay so far. I wasn't too sure what we were gonna play tonight. I've got a whole bunch of things down, but I was just like, let's go with the flow. And it seems, uh, seems good. It's, uh, it's it, I feel like it's, it's like a, it feels like roguelite or something. That was not. That's the kind of impression I've got. Chest key. Now I do. Alright, let's get rid of one of those. Two, two, two. Ruby cannon. Yeah, you can go. Oops. Ooh, 2x speed. Okay, that's particularly good. 2x speed? Oh, shoot. Probably want to do the bear man, then. I think... No, I don't want to use it. guns that I don't really like. Oral apple's okay though. I'll keep that. Oh wait, let's see. One armchair. Procedural generated levels and furnishings. Difficulty ramps up. It, yeah, I'm, I'm, I wasn't sure if it was procedural or not, but it, it's very well done. I mean, it, you don't notice any stitching or anything. It's just like, the polish is really great. Floor seven already. So, been doing all right. I have a feeling all of a sudden it's gonna get like really tough. Like, you know, it's like, you know, like all of a sudden it's beyond your capacity as a gamer. You're like, Enough for me. What do you think? It wasn't really that scary. That guy with the multi headed thing was scary. That guy was like. Not good. I do not want to see more of him, but I know we will. The guy looked like one of those plants from Mario. Yeah, so we're gonna need, we're gonna need, we're gonna need the uh, health more than anything else. Jesus! The fuck is that? trying to take these guys out one at a time. Hey! Through the wall, hacker. Look at that. Dropping bombs like crazy, this guy. He's like a rap artist. 
This has been really quality so far. Spectro. I really like it. Procedural generated levels and furnishings. He's hard, like, look at his... The emerald key. Got that duck key? Whatever that is. Who's digging me? Shit, that guy's about to shoot lasers at me. Look at him. He looks hungry. I was like, please don't run out. Please don't run out. Oh. I think I'm hurt. That's sort of me. I need some juice, though. Definitely getting closer to death here. Somebody. Oh, it's our favorite. Mr. Bombface. And his buddy. Bombface number two. It's like tactical warfare, this. Wait. What was that? Not getting too bad so far. Oh shit, spoke too soon. Shit! Back off. Need a candle. Need a candle. Find stuff is not going to be easy now. Did you hear someone opening something? I'm not sure I did. Okay. City 4. I'll well, take it. This race is my least favorite. Just because he's tricky. He's like, oh, I'm about to die. Quick drop another bomb. He's evil. 
Pumpkin. Pink cup. Bourbon. Apple. Alright. Pink light, hallway. Let's get out of here. Pink light, hallway. Good job, done. It's so weird, it's the same sound as my sub noise on YouTube, which is weird. So every time I, the door opens, I'm like, oh, that's nice. Someone subbed. It's like, no, no, they didn't. No. No. Oh. The ghosts are breaking me. Like, the thing is, after I play this once and get defeated, I really don't think I would be playing it again. You know? That's the only thing. So it's a throwaway price. Like, four quid would be fine. Oh, he's a fire belly. He's a friendly little hacker, isn't he? He's like a fasty. Oh, look! More friends. Hello, friend. Shit. Even more. Sparkles here. Sparkles. And Silver key. <coughs> You're in the tray as well. Sorry. Rusty pipe, huh? Rank three. Why is that? Why is it rank three? Why are you rank three? Well, let's try it anyway. Like it. Rusty pipe. Huh? So we'll just stick with it. That gets annoying. Um, radiant ray. More reliable. Steel pipe? It's not like this, my other one's better. Here we go. There, man. Rusty pipe. Power three. No, 
All right. Stay with it. Blinking. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. How's it going, Lena? Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's good to be back. Um, I'm not 100% well. I'm still coughing every so often. You know when you tell someone you've been coughing, or you're like, oh, I've been sick at work, or whatever, and then like someone's like, oh, were you sick over the weekend? Like, <laughs> does he immediately feel the need to cough? It's weird. Like, immediately feel the need to fake it. Yeah. There's a message in there. All right. Um, I am playing Spectrum. I can, it's got Borderlands-like mechanics. So, there's my nice speed boost, power boost. I want to make it power four? I want to make this guy. He's the one I'm dumping upgrades onto. He's just cool. Yeah, I'm gonna keep using my bear. Because this, this one is like, this one's good. It's fast, it's got a lot of capacity. It's got the jizz, or shiz. I don't know what I'm saying. Ignore me, ignore me. Oh, man. It's got the jizz for shiz. Uh, see, it's, it's pretty good. It's a quick sucker, this one. Give me them coins! I feel like Mario. Hello, Luigi. It's got a nice, it's like really, um, one of the better Halloween-y games that I've played. Oh, not him again. Not you, you feckin' tool. Jesus. Come on. Right. Hey! Feckin' hacker. Right. Nothing there. What do we got over here? Nothing. You got some goodies for me? Rupees? Oh, shit. Now I know what I, I want our bedroom wallpaper to be, Karen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Rupee wallpaper? Thank you, hell. That is the best thing ever. I never thought about that. You do not have a chess key. Well, thank you, then. I'll get a chess key. I'll be back. Don't you worry about that. Although, I feel like I'm growing or something. That's the weirdest thing. Hello. Hello, Muppet Face. Hello, Muppet Face number two. Ah, my new gun is like super duper. Super scooper. Picking up these ghouls like nothing else. No tomatoes. No tomatoes, you hear me? No tomatoes. I need some juice. Some juice. Why do I have to pick it up with candles? I don't know. Candle power. Thank you, gentlemen. I feel really tall. I feel like I keep getting taller. Maybe it's a way to make me feel supreme. That could be it. I don't know. What? Shit. Bowl of fruit. Book. 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 Pumpkin. Coffee mug. Coffee mug. Apple. Yeah. Okay. We found the totem. Now we can get out of here. But first, we need to kick this guy's ass. Thank you. I wish I could do like a dive roll. It would make me feel better. We have coins. I think they have enough variety, which is nice. Down there. You got a, they got a good variety. It, it feels good. It's just a it's a fun little toolie game here. You just do random stuff. Hey, seriously, how's it going? Oh, nice to get the chaperones in on his date. Yeah, um, well, originally we were going to be speed dating. I got stuck on the first chick, and she looks pretty good. She's kind of fun. A little boring, but we're having a good time with her. There's a lot of sucking going on, though, you know what I mean? That was a big fruit. Jesus, that's crude. Jesus! Ding, 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 you know? Nice. Give me that rookie wallpaper anyway. Take me back to yours. Thank you. 
Right, where was that fecker? There was a box somewhere. Where was that box? Box with all the locks. There's a the box! A space? Probably not. Knowing me. Need one of the small ones. Open the box. Boom! Small health elixir. And the crowd goes wild! See what I mean? Like rupee wallpaper. That. <coughs> that is cool. Zimsaw's dating room. Hey! This isn't a dating game! Oh, it is. We're just looking for the. Uh... No. See, I think it was a misleading title. I meant speed, ru speed dating as in. We were just gonna hit like app 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 app. You know, like I do when I do an, what I've been calling an indie grinder. Um, we got caught on this one, so we are currently on our first of the speed dating. This doesn't preclude that I'm gonna spend this much time on every other game, but I was like, I'm gonna go until I die, cause feck it. Zim's a cooker. All right, hold on. Where's my thingamajiggy? Let me check this for which room? Uh, the room we're in. The red lamp? Red lamp? Shelf? Yeah. This room. Open sesame! Okay. Yeah, what is it with the doors? Am I getting taller? The feck? I think any title is clickbait title on Zim's channel because, well, it's Zim. Oh. He says, except you've been with the first bimbo for 101 minutes. Is it true? 101? Wow. No. Well. 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 That's okay. I think that's all right. Floor nine. We are doing fine. Give me them coins. Thank you. Give me the ruby key. Easy peasy. Give me some juice for my gun. So that we can have some fun. What is wrong with me? All I'm doing is ghosts. It's not even scary. This is like, woo, creepy game with like, just creepy dudes. Okay, he's scary. Definitely tougher now. Back you, dude. You're a little bit easier. Good. Alright, so we've refilled our fun gun. Gotta find the emerald key. Uh, cuckoo. Cuckoo. Emerald key. Why, hello there. Milk. Right. Thought I heard him. Get in my gun. Don't you ever do that to me again. But this is basically the premise of the game. Play coins for apparently no goddamn reason. And um, health potions. Also, apparently, no goddamn reason. Well, I guess you need them for life, but... I love the collecting coin sounds. It's my favorite part of the game. Back off! I'm busy! I can see him. In here with bomb people. Sometimes it's just safer to go with the bomb people. You can't you can't scare me into other rooms. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Huh? Huh? Give me that. Oh. Look, it's another little friend. Came out of the bottle of whiskey. You don't have a coin. You don't have what it takes, they said. And Zim said to him, he said, no. No, you don't. You don't have two. I'm missing loads of them. And I have like no. Can I get a candle? Yo, dude. Can I get a light? Oh no! 
Let's run. Candle. Candle juice. Thank you. That's so rude. You come into my place of work and worship. What do you do? What do you do? Fucking ghosts! I tell you. I tell you. Don't do that shit. It's rude. I cut off your fingers. What kind of bathtub has a lamp in it? It's like a suicide bathtub. What were the devs thinking? Clearly not thinking. You can't be just suicide in left, right, and center. This is U Tub. U Tubs. Welcome to U Tubs. Are the Express U Tubbins going well? There's like Beetlejuice Afterlife? A little bit, actually. It is. A little bit that way. Uh, I still need those fucking keys to get into the side rooms. I don't know. Maybe if I flicker at them. Anything? I don't trust them in the thing. I haven't found it yet, right? I haven't found the totem? Not yet. Hmm. Definitely getting harder. Totem is like this little bright thing. It's like impossible to miss. Huh. I thought that said a side beer for a second. I'm like, oh, I so want it. I really do want some aside beer right now. I'd go for any kind of alcohol. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Oh. I had the emerald key all along. Hello, friends. How are you? Yeah, if you can just not stand in the way, that'd be great. I need juice. There you. Thank you. Okay, let's run a little bit. Shit. Just trapped myself in the bathroom. Holy cow, that was close. I nearly died. This is getting harder. This is level 9. Fucking hell. We're all over the place. Hey, there's a foosball table! <coughs> Two foosballs tables! Hey, can't you tell I'm busy in here? Hey, bomb face. Stop that. Alright, all of you, out. I'm busy. I say I'm busy, bitch. Hey, stop throwing bombs in here. That was a game fact. That was not me. Damn it. That wasn't fecking me. Did I just die? Because of a game glitch. Welcome back to the store where you can get. It's okay. You just passed out from getting some spooked. I'm like Aunt Jemima. I'll pour syrup all over your chest. Uh, what? What'd you say? 
Eventually, you might even get the mask of O'Keefe. But don't worry. It's okay. If you don't do it the first time, maybe time 96 would be good. Just keep playing our game. Should have visited the store. You can buy stuff. You can buy a small health elixir, a yellow jacket, a master blaster. Yellow jacket. Is that a gun? Looks like it's a gun. Well, what about the bishop? That seems freaking extortionate. Three capacity. One power, two speed. Like what? It's like bullshit stuff. That's bullshit! I don't like that. Ghost bullshit. <laughs> Yay! Alright, that's a decent hour. Let's never play it again. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. You're such a freaky cat. That's me, seriously. That's it. All the fear in the world. That's what happens when you're so scared. So scared. All the time. Okay. Uh, it's nearly 11. I'm gonna... Oh, I wanna get a drink. I got drinks here. It's fine. <sighs> well, that's one game down. Sphero! Or whatever it was called. Spectro. Spectro, not Sphero. Sphero is the little... BB-8 knockoff feckin', or is BB-8 the knockoff? I never know. Sphero's like that little robot toy. There are so many robot toys? There are so many robot toys. Speed dating lolly. Feck off, Doc. <laughs> I normally get through three in a night, you know? Normally. Three of them. Hairy one. Ugly, ugly one. Let's do root beer on tap. Hoa! And for some reason, chat's not fucking working. I don't know what it is with that. It's so weird. Let me see. Maybe this will work now. Is that gonna work now? I got a feeling it's not. It's like that's something weird. Something wacky's going on. It's so weird. So the next game should take us to about one. Yeah, something like that. Bit by bit, you know. Been live for like two hours, speed dating. Yeah, I know. I it's fine. It happens. It's 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 the way Zim goes, you know. See that one's working. I don't know. That's weird. So I'll just stay on this scene then. Fuck it. It's good. Yeah, that works. So what's different about that one then? I, I, see, this is I don't understand. I don't get it. Um. Oh, I think I might I might have figured it out. Hang on, hang on. Let me see. Maybe that? Uh, no, that didn't quite do it. Come back to this one. This one. Speed is a very loose term. Here it is. Here it is. All right, now if we come back here. See, that doesn't, no, that doesn't do it. So weird. I'm trying to get this to work, but. Nope. Okay. It's all good. Right. Let's go play this game. What is this game going to be? This game is called Root Beer on Tap. What do you do in Root Beer on Tap? Well, well, Bob, I will tell you. You do Root Beer. Actually, I need to untangle my shit here because it's fucking crazy. At least now I have a really handy, like, handy way to untangle stuff, which is just unplug stuff from my my headphone amp is really cool like I, I do like it and a few people have been asking me like oh, should I get one and I'm like hard to say it's hard to say like I like it and I'm pretty sure it's awesome I'm just not sure if it's as awesome as like how outstanding is it I just, I'm stuck I'm stuck with it and the thing is audio is really important and uh, especially in VR, like for uh, for a number of reasons, right? But come on now, just trying to get this. Untangling a headset is never an easy job, and I'm usually pretty good with it. There we go. But tonight, I seem terrible. I really do. Okay, cool. We are ready. Uh, Doctor Rocket is 15 miles per hour in a flywheel. 
five watt per hour. Hyper noodle. <coughs> Stand in the center of your play space and press the trigger. All right. Immediate feedback on the audio, please. If it's too crazy, then we're just going to not do that. Um, performance looks a little bit dire and off right off the bat, but we'll see. All right. I'm in the center of my play space, and I'm about to press the trigger. At any time, press and hold A for three seconds to reset. Beep. Put beer on tap. Super informative poster. Teleport. Pause. Grab. Wrong. I hear literally like no music. It's a cool scene though. That's pretty neat. Hope you're all able to see this now. That's the best way. Um, hang on. Might be because it's not. Do you hear anything? Oh, there we go. How to. Where to start? Serve. So we're just like serving people root beer, and then okay, all right, root beer on tap. It is what it is. <coughs> Here we go. Serve. Just serving beer. This guy doesn't want to go away. Now am I supposed to get that? What? Lose? Oh, I spilled the beer. The root beer. Not my cup of tea, I mean root beer. Oh, I love root beer, man. Oh, Buck, you just pooped out, yeah? Well, have, a, have a nice tasty root beer on the house, yeah? So apparently you're not allowed to... You're not allowed to, like, not give them what they want? Win! That was easy. Okay, old saloon at rush hour. I'm ready. Serve. Shit. game I have to say this is very odd if I saw this in the store I'd be like the feck is that this is like one of those passion sure. projects where people are just like you know the 
and just do it. The love of... Beer. Shit. One more. Shit. I want my root beer. I want it within 20 seconds flat, or I'm gonna kill your family. <laughs> yep, sounds good. Yay. Zoom. Oh. Well, that is fucking awkward. Oh, just let me do it with the fucking thing, would you? Oh my god. Fuck! Okay. Please no one ever do this mechanic ever again. Why do I care? Why do I care? Yay! High score. Zim at 3,350 points. Well, I can tell it is a passion project, this particular date, I'm gonna send home. Like a bad pizza. Back off, bad pizza. I don't mind. I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> Spectro is Spectro was pretty good. Spectro is pretty good. I did like Spectro. Um, and next we're gonna be doing... Uh, that one. Um, all right. Arena. Blood on the sand. Sounds good. Sounds wholesome, like a family game. <sighs> Come on. Say hello to my little friend. Bajingos. Right. Dash entered. Dash had a fatal error. Did it now. Oh. How kind of you. What does it say? Reload dash. Press any button to reload dash. Now what? Nothing. Oculus home. Anything else is coming up? You see dash, kind of. You don't see it pass through though, which is weird. Because I have it selected specifically for pass through. Settings, hang on. Dash. Enable pass through while using dash. Uh -huh. You should be able to see it. Show your pass through, if, okay. Show your pass through while streaming. Oh! Yeah, you see it. You see all that weird distortion? That's when that's pass through plus. See it? Isn't that weird? Woo! Oh yeah, look at that. See that? But see, it does do a better job of like showing you your room. And then this is the cool thing. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, you can't actually see dash. You can't see dash. That's weird. The dash is in front of me right here. And my hand. Can you see my hand? You can only see my real hand. Not my fake hand. Damn. Damn. Okay. It does a cool overlay thing. Anyway. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. So that all is working. Can you see the sword? You can see the sword. Okay. Okay, it's my heart a little bit. 
That was working earlier, Buck. Um, I don't know if uh, Nightbots are on. Spectral was a quick two hours, exactly. Uh, let's try this. So this is uh, Blood in the Sand, or whatever it's called. Fuck and hell. So as you can see the distortion on the blinds more. Oh. oh. I feel like I've played this one. Have I? I feel like I can't hear a feckin' thing. I think I should quit and restart. And quit and restart. How to do that? It doesn't realize it's in a game. Okay. Yeah. Please report any issues you have with experimental mode, including games not starting. All that kind of stuff. Yeah, Spectro was good. I like Spectro. It was kind of cutesy. It was, um, yeah. It was like one of those fun games that you just play and you just enjoy it. You're like, yeah, that's that good for the time. Um, it, like, I wouldn't have played it for an hour and a half if I didn't like it. That's the thing. You know? So, that's that. Okay. Let me kill that. Yeah, Ghostbusters would be good. Um, you mean the one with the chicks, right? Like, because the classic one is terrible. Like the one with the, the guys in it? Was that Dan Aykroyd or something? That, that one's horrible. That one's just like... But the new one with the girls, like, that's... They really remade it. It's, like, better than Star Trek. Um, I can't keep a straight face. <laughs> that was fun just for a moment I lived in a parallel universe where um, where the Ghostbusters were chicks <clears throat> except for that doesn't exist does it no alright um, let's do this arena on the blood and sand or whatever it is um, and we'll just have some fun. Okay. It's just a pity that, like, Steam VR doesn't, like, float to the top, you know? Hey, we unlocked the door. Cool. You'd get that joke if you were here earlier. You'd get that joke if you were here earlier. Maybe you were here earlier. Maybe I just disrespected you. And if that's the case, good. Good riddance. Fucking tools, all of you. Anyway, uh, you really know when a game is good. It's just when you lose time in it. Like, uh, was I really playing that long? It felt like, felt like, it felt like at least an hour and forty minutes. Uh, Spectra or whatever. Now this this might be totally shite. I mean, it looks. Hold grip and swing arms to move. Oh, 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 oh. Break all pots and give the people stab 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 to wave at them? Hi. Don't you dare. Hey, I hey, kill you. That's it. I know you have metal beaks. Hey, no, no, hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, blood and sand. There are. Why am I fighting Splinter? Splinter? No. Bad. Hi. Oh, hurt. I died. Shit. Back to the bloods and sands. And I will be. This is a game that you should never, ever buy. Do not buy this game. Holy shit, it's a wave shooter where you have to actually do work to get to the wave shooting part. Right. Gentlemen, this is the rats. Come, come now, get them. This is not the place for children. Not the place for children. Run, run to the cactus, run to the cactus. You gotta run, faster, faster. This is a unique movement mechanism. Hide behind the cactus. This is how we're going to beat the armies of death. Yes. One at a time they come. One at a time. And we fake and stop them. And somehow I have a shield up, but it's not working. It's tiny. It's like a pizza plate. Feck, I'm dead. Okay. Let's never see or speak of that game again. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. 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 No. No, 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 no. That's bad. I got that key for free. I knew that. I, like, asked them, like, hey, can I have this? And they're like, yeah, you can have it. I'm like, shit. It's only the ones who don't respond to me are good.
Um, that is so shit. Okay, stay away from that game. That was, um, wow, that was freaking horrible. Arena. <coughs> blood on the sand. Arena, blood on the sand. Thank you for playing our game. It is so good you play our game. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, <coughs> I'm a healthy fellow. Attack of the Retrobots. Why not? Play Attack of the Retrobots or launch it in Steam VR mode. I guess Steam VR mode it is. Try the bananas. How did you know? Uh huh. Took me half the film to realize it was Chris Hemsworth. I'm so slow. I don't even know who that is. All right, we're doing this one. How did you know the bananas thing? How did you know I have bananas to do? How did you know? When did you see that? <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Back me. Back me in the arsehole. Twice before Sunday. Instead of the beginning. Okay, we'll do the bananas one too. Next one. <coughs> I feel good. 8.94, what? This is the metric size of your penis. A point, what? Huh? What is this? It's quick. I believe it's quick. It's just a bunch of bananas. What is the heck is going on? WTFO. What the feckin' what? Hello? Attack of the Retrobots. Look at that cool. Um, this is really retro. It's like... I'm getting freaked out at this number now. 8. 8.94. 8.94. 8.94. 8.94. 8.94. 8.94. 8.94. 8. Point. What would you like on your pizza, sir? 8.94. That'll come to 8.94. That'll what? That'll... Voided my whole life. Why did it launch Necro Mutex? The feck? Is that because it's from the same people? Alright, I'm just gonna try this play game. Uh, cancel. Supports VR natively. Try again. Is this by the Necro Mutex guys? Oh, there we go. Look. Look at it. 8.94 is back! What the? Controllers to be activated. Activate, activate. Yeah! I got the blue one and the red one. It's just like a Nintendo Switch. This is great. <clears throat> what are we gonna do here? Uh, puzzle? Fair enough, thanks. Swap in. Set the forward shooting angle of your fucking hell. This is the, whatever. I don't care. This is just like that Nectar of Mutex. Fucking just let me kill them. 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 This is gonna not work. Sector sound distress initiated. What the hell? What the fuck? It is! It's just Nectar of Mutex! a new package, which is why I was there in the window. This is just Necromutex. Repackaged. Oh shit. It's literally the same game. Just slightly changed because they're like, oh, it didn't work off center. What does that mean? Oh my god. It's literally the same facility room as that one. This is slightly better than Necro Mutex, but Necro Mutex is pretty good. So this used a procedural engine. So I'm supposed to follow this line. This is just Necro Mutex again! <laughs> that is hilarious! I've never seen them do that before! 
That's insane. It's literally the same game. Oh my god. Off center. You must return. Oh, because I'm there instead of being there. Alright. You can be here. Death aversion. Death evasion. Death evasion. This is so, like, not better than Necromutex, but, well, maybe it is a little bit. It's like they modded their own game and then sold it under a different brand. This is exactly the same ending! Oh my god, I can't believe they did that! That's ridiculous! That is freaking ridiculous! I am not playing that game anymore. Affect that. Attack of the Retro Boss, that's hilarious. It's just a bit from Mutex. Oh my god. <coughs> that is insane. I'm gonna show you Necro Mutex now. Or did I uninstall it? I probably uninstalled it, because it is like... Yeah, let me let me just do... Oh, it's taking 10 gigs? Shit. Um, you gotta take my word for it. I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna... It's such a shit game. Um... It, like, it, like, had a little bit of chance, but they've just totally done it up with toy robots instead. I mean, some of the robot animations weren't bad, but, like, oh, man. I can't believe they did that. That's, like, repre... That is reprehensible. Reprehensible. Right. Uh, chicks and tricks, yeah? Let's do this one. I don't think I can play this on my own. I think I need your help. I'm gonna need your help, buddies. Hope it'll let me. Hopefully it's a website thing. And then you can help me. We can play this together. Told you we're gonna play multiplayer. This is it, chicks and tricks. Oh yeah. Bring it on. It's not sexual, it's just chickens. Oh no, this is like that bastardy chicken one. We got chickens. So what do you do? How do you play? Got a basket. So this is supposed to be me running around this space. Pick up chickens. This reminds me of the one with the eggs rolling down the thing. Felt like maybe something little. That's a cute little fox down there. Hello, Mr. Fox. Yeah, he's going to just here. Uh, I don't think I can play this one this way. I think it's desktop and uh, yeah, this is not gonna work. How to play. Let's see. How to play. Chase it, controller, keyboard. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Not yet. Bye. Alright. So that's not gonna work. Let's do a different one. This one might work. This was supposed to have two couch people, which I assume means not controller. I like, I believe the idea was to make it less gory. Alright, Doc. Yeah, still. No. No. Like, I don't like when people are, you know, not f forthcoming with that kind of stuff. It really pisses me off. Um, alright, hold on. There's something else I'm missing. So you're not, uh, local. Yeah, that one was local. That one was local, yeah, yeah. Um, but there's a lot of games that are local that work, like, well for, for that as well, so. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is... Where's my library? Uh, so I can do Banana Invaders, and I can do Discontinue. Those are two other things. And Groundhog's Day. These are fun. We could try the Not Dangerous at All local multiplayer option. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No. Not right now. I need to look into that before I even consider putting it anywhere near my PC. Uh, and let's see. What other options did I have? So we did that. Um, Wactory. Wactory. That's it. That's the one. Let me see if I've got it. Factory, there it is. All right, we're gonna play this. Okay, give it a shot. See if it works. Factory, factory, factory. It's like factory with a W instead. Instead of factory, it's factory. It's kind of wacko. This one. Now I don't think that's gonna be playable either. I'll give you a flash and you'll see what is life. Factory. 
Right. Yep. Level select. Okay. It's saying that the other players aren't ready. And how does that work? Oh. I guess it needs uh, controllers. Now the cool thing about Wagtory is it's free. Is that? What is that? Demand to be able to interact. But yeah, this is free. Devs message me and they're like, hey, would you check out our game? It's like, yeah, well, um, I don't think I can. I think it's completely just local. So I'm gonna have to get game pads or something and sort it that way. Okay. So cool. Yep. Okay, cool. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, so that's that one. Uh, the screen I've got on my other monitor shows like me trapped in a box, which is kind of interesting. And some hats. And like some hats. Like this. See what I mean? And if I move my head, right? See? There's me. I'm stuck in a box! That's it. So, there you go. That's what that one is. So, <coughs> those are both like couch games to consider. Which is Wactory. What was the other one? We just did. Not the Necromutex Fecker. Chicks and Tricks. Those are both couch ones. So again, um, okay, so we did that Spectro, Retrobots. Time for the banana, I think. Uh, or Panther VR. We'll do Panther VR after these short little nitty bitty things. Okay. I think that sounds good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. So, um, Banana Invaders, then discontinue. Running multiple apps. I'm not. I swear I'm not. I love how it considers Steam VR an app. It's like, it's not an app. It's like, it's an app. It's like, no. No, it's not. It is. No. Yes. No. It's not a fucking app. The problem is, though, people are going to see the stream, they're going to be like, this is a Spectro stream. That's two hours of Spectro, and then a bunch of five-minute sessions of, like, a bunch of random games, basically. That's not very loud. Holy shit. Is that a crossbow? Is it a banana crossbow? Choose your name. Randomize. Funny banana. Scrubby gorilla. Magic palmetto. There. That's my name. Brave chipmunk. Confirm. Okay, whatever. Start. Fine. Shoot bananas. The feck is this now? Kill the bananas. What is this? Hell? Why are those twitching? Oh! Nope. It's like a Nerf gun. Oh. Is that it? I'm barely hearing anything. This is like a Nerf gun. And this isn't tracking very well. So monkeys are shooting at me. And I'm just killing bananas? What the hell is this? It's a power up. Is that a power up for me or them? So, what is with the trucks? This is like Dick Wild, but bananas? Oh, you can teleport. Well, they didn't say that. 
you want to exit? No. Are you sure you can teleport? Doesn't seem so. Maybe not yet. This is really, really strange. This is a very, very odd game. Are you even hearing the audio? I feel like I'm shooting a Nerf gun. What this is? A Nerf gun shooting bananas. Like, why? What is the point of this game? This is the most odd strange ass game. I audio's fine? Alright. As long as you can hear it. You know, what was the beeping for? I really don't get this. Is this just an arcade game with bananas? Is that what this is? That just it keeps escalating? There's more bunches of bananas? You got banana it. 36 accuracy. Next exit. And I have no name. Yeah, I get it. Check that. <laughs> That's not good. All right. Let's uh, library this up. All right. So there's a few games, can you see this? You can't see this. Damn it. It's really annoying that you can't see what I see. Like that's the whole point of the Oculus Mirror. But eh, read the tutorial. No. It's all about 3D audio locating. Nah, fix that. If the game's not fun straight off the bat, no. Generally, not for me. Not for me. Yeah. I, I did notice the audio though. Like the, the audio did stand out as like, oh. All right, let's try this, discontinue. This is a nice menu. Hint, compete for the number one rank of your favorite level. The hands don't move. Oh, they do the claw. That is a little unnatural for a hand position. Slightly, if you're not a crab. Okay, champion, enemy, intro. Room intro, world intro, aim training, rank training, dodge training your level. Enter number. What number? I am not. Uh, enemy intro? It's very pretty. What am I doing? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, so it's Tron. Discus Among Us. 99 points. What the feck is supposed to be happening now? I got my disc. What was that about? Alright, zero. Maybe a friend better in a level. What? Difficulty 29. What are you talking about? The feck? I think I'm supposed to break this. It really does not have a nice throw mechanic. Oh, so I'm supposed to hit those. <laughs> Effect. Okay, uh, two, one, one, zero, zero. I don't know. World intro? I think this game is way too confusing out the outside. It's like, what? I think I'm throwing horseshoes. Look at how long it takes for it to materialize. It's actually ages. And also, it doesn't throw at the right 
Spot. This is so strange. <coughs> is that the level? Choose your level. Hit the yellow obstacle twice. Two. Throwing discs around, dinging. Yeah, get points. Okay, so I'm literally trying to take down towers to get points. And I get those guys, and then I continue. So that allows me to continue. And you're supposed to like ignore it. Okay, so I'm getting the gist of it. The beginning is fucking confusing. <laughs> and the music is like okay, possible, let's say. And I'm just like fucking disc is it the whole way. I really okay. When I go over this way, I like the concept, but it's it doesn't beat what what we were playing before. Uh, when we played at the indie dev lounge at OC, it was really cool. It was this person v person thing. Okay. As I said, like the disc throwing feels like crap. That's your like number one mechanic. It just doesn't release at the right time. Now it's supposed to be like... I, just, I don't know, I'm not having fun out of the box. And for a game like this, it's like no matter what you're playing, the concept is kind of neat, like, but it's also very interrupted. Okay, so I got myself some help. Get a few more points in. We're gonna run that. So I really feel like I would be doing better with other things than these discs. And to be honest, I can't throw for shit with my left hand. Like, why do I want us to be throwing a disc with it? It's a bit weird. It's a bit strange. Come on now. Keep taking hits. Like to 100 health, huh? After a while, you're starting to get the hang of it. This is discontinue. Again, I couldn't see myself buying it or playing a game like this, really. I, I, I couldn't. I mean, I appreciate what the devs trying to do. And why do I do these twice? That's just frustrating. Like, why don't I just hit them once? Like, what's the benefit of hitting them twice? I don't... What? Why? And you're supposed to be able to, like, fling it? I don't get it. I don't get this. This is fucking wacko. feel bad. Yeah, no, 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 sorry, 
that or miss Mr. and Mrs. Discontinue? Let's try Groundhog Day. Like father, like son. Mm. If delete numbers to change the number level. Um, okay. All the intros are tutorials. Well. This game's autosave. Did you see this one? Groundhog Day. It's hard to find any asymmetrical VR online games. It is hard. It's hard to find them. They do exist. There are actually quite a few. I like the snow. Five, five, nine. Last time I got up at six o'clock was a long time ago. I don't do that. Immersive production. This is pretty big, this whole scene. The game by Tequila Works. This is the same people who did you... What? What game? The Invisible Hours, which is amazing. Do that. Groundhog Day, like father, like son. Press any button to start. <clears throat> Is that a groundhog? Or a very fat rat? This is, um, are you sure? I bet you can't name five. Um, I probably can. Eye in the sky. Um, uh, keep talking, nobody explodes. that many. I just don't think. Uh, you sent me about it. Anyway, I'm going to do this first. New game. Right? Uh, that is a very weird way to do it. Settings. Somehow I ended up in sex. Um, Okie dokie. This is a weird looking game. Very strange. They're not online. Maybe they're not online. They're online. What do you mean online? Wait, you're back? Nice beaver. Giant rodents. Phil Connors. No way. Glass half filled. Uh, tomorrow's vlog is going to be epic. A nap. Cobbler's knob. What? I'm not really following. Stream Blur loves me. They want me to give you my own show. Uh, I had my first job at this dump. Shiver goes down the spine. What are they talking about? Keep your family close and the whiskey closer. Um, anyone else following what's going on? I'm like very confused. Fuck that snow. 24 hours till sunny LA. What? Made it home. Send help. Not murder my brother. Pray for me, internet. Abort. Well, his likes are going down. He gotta get out of there. If I know anything, if you get your likes going down, you gotta go, man. You gotta go. What is this about? The feck is this? Uh, not local couch. Okay, it's just one day with the family. Just nod your head and fake a smile and try not to punch any walls. You'll be out of here in no time. Is that what I think it is? Last call. Okay, campers, rise and shine. This is Phil Connors reminding you to bundle up and throw some hand warmers oh. in your pants. Oh. It's cold out there. Expect that snow to keep falling and that wind to keep blowing. When you're outside freezing your buns off, <laughs> do old 
girl a favor, all right? Stick out your tongue or your finger if you're feeling... You heard me. A snowflake. And when that frosty little sucker is melting, think about this. And oh, baby. Ice crystal. You get the ice. Hey, good and morning, little guy. You know, the developers could have been a little more generous. Totally unique and beautiful. What? Nothing before it what? or after it will ever look the same. And you just ate it. If that's not a reason to love being alive... What the feck? Well, what an absolute classic. You said it. Another wintry gem from our very own dearly departed... Bill Connors. Over there. Oh, the this room is just how I left man. it. Gross it, and depressing. Now, how could I forget? Oh, <laughs> <did I laughs> <pass laughs> my uncle. What a lifesaver. This is ah, fucking yeah, weird. Donation that this is so weird. Local when the corporate vultures Please stop the certain. radio. Really is it loud? Everything for this town, didn't he? I'll turn and it down. And it's the Buddha of Punxsutawney. Oh, that's good. Buddha of Punxsutawney. No, seriously. Is this necessary? Like... <laughs> Alright. I get it. He's single. <laughs> Thank you. Walk, walk it off, yeah. Look at that! I can draw on this. That must have taken hours and hours to perfect. Now let's see if I can draw a penis. Alright. And you drew a dick. Don't draw a really dick, nice don't mechanic. draw a dick. I'm drawing flowers, you bastards. All right, Phil. Let's see what half a semester of art school got you. You can literally just... Interesting. Look, my second controller that no one ever used. This is weird. Big city, true love. Can I put that in? Is this a music player? What is this thing? Snow globe. Look, even inside this glass orb, it's snowing. Fuck this place. This is so strange. Look at it, beautiful. Wow. When your day is just watering my succulents, you really need to get a life, Mom. I have apparently earned new rewards for my Oculus home on the back of this. Stumpy little thing. Yeah, um, hmm. I feel like I need to come back to this game later. Oh, the first time I heard about vlogging. Vlog you. Billionaire in 24 hours. For my one semester in college, I got seven notepads. The Joy of Creating by Phil Connors. An asshole. Must have been his dad. Can't write on the books. Doesn't let you be tidy, then fig it!
is the meaning of Groundhog's Day. The old times when video games were cool. Not like today with all the virtual reality and stuff. When I read it was girls fighting, I expected something different, but I wasn't disappointed. Well, let's not do this right now. Yeah. Nah. I think we're calling it. <clears throat> Wait. One last indie title. One. Last indie title. That's God's Wrath. I'm just gonna see if it's gonna run. I've never launched it. Not on my machine. Now while I'm streaming, I'm using you all at the end of the night as my test. You are my test bunnies. Oh, look. He's a happy chappy. <coughs> What's Asgard's wrath? Are you hearing it? This. This is Asgard's wrath. to do that another night. Looks pretty good. I'm out of here. Oh. At least now I can say I launched the game. <laughs> oh god. Yes. Well it was uh, it was an interesting rundown. We did a fact ton of indie games. I'm gonna have to rewatch that just to be able to recount like what we did and go one by one and figure out all that stuff. So, first time I started it, yeah, 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 literally. Thanks for the orgasm. Was it good? <laughs> Was it good for you? Um, the funny thing is, on my side, it's not that loud. It's like pretty low. So, maybe I need to. Maybe the the game volumes haven't been very good. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm still learning, you know, with my headphone amp. It's like, it's independent of what you hear. You guys are on a line out, so you get like 100% volume. And I'm on like 30% volume. And so like, usually what I hear in here is the same as what you hear. And that helps me, you know, back and forth or whatever. But anyway. Uh, so, yeah, tonight was a bit eclectic and odd, strange, various things that we were doing. Um, no dating apps, sadly. The best dating app that's available, I think, is the one by Magic, who, like, teaches you to touch women's uh, elbows and knees. That's his magic trick. Ooh, he's like, walk up to stranger. You want to get with a woman? Be confident. Touch her elbows. Touch her knees. That's uh, Danny, Danny Lessons VR, I think is what it's called. That is weird. That's freaking... That's a bananas one. Anyway, that's not for everybody. Yeah, yeah, anyway. Um, I think that's it for me. Yeah, I'll touch your knees. Touch your knee. Touch them. Touch those beautiful knees. Um, and that's just the way it's going to go. So I think that's it for us now. Um, I'm going to say thanks. Uh, thanks, everyone. Um, it was a bit of a weird one. Still just trying to get back into the groove of things, to be honest. And um, it was good to try a few things. Most of that you don't want to play. There were no gems tonight. There was not a single gem. I am a little sad, but it's okay. I, I kind of expected it. I expected that it might just break into little fragments and all that. So, very good. Um, you did good tonight with your neck? <laughs> Thanks, yeah. It's, uh, it's all right. It's uh, slowly working. That was a little bit loud. Right, I'm out of here. You all have a great evening. Thanks for joining me for the indie show. Do something a little bit exciting. Another night.
Good night. Don't do anything that um, an angry Zim wouldn't do. And have a good weekend. Treat yourself. Zim said so. That's your homework. I want to know what you did. Make yourself feel good. Not that good. Not groundhog good. Ratched it back. Peace.